Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing well today. I hope you're feeling good and not too incredibly hot. <laughs> so we're going to continue working tonight building strength through the arms. So of course, in relation to the arms, we've got the shoulders, the upper back, the wrists, the forearms. Um, so we'll be stretching and strengthening the upper body a bit tonight. Uh, but just to keep in mind, since it is so hot, we really should start drinking water throughout the day if we're not already in that habit. Um, one of the benefits of doing yoga virtually is that, of course, you have access to your home, your sink, your water bottles. So if at any point during today's practice you're feeling off, you're feeling different than usual, maybe a little woozy, feel free to take a break, grab some water, continue, doing, continue drinking that water later this evening as well. Um, we're normally operating, most of us, on a level of dehydration anyway, so especially when it gets super hot, we need to just keep it in mind and turn it up a notch with our water intake. So let's get started tonight laying flat on our backs. So come into a comfortable position, close your eyes, take a couple deep breaths, and let's settle into our yoga practice. Tuck the shoulder blades under the back of the body, creating some space through the front of the chest and collarbone so we really can breathe deeply. With each inhale, feel your chest, back, and abdomen expand. And then let the whole body relax. Let it sink down deeply into the mat as you exhale. On your next inhale, reach your arms overhead, lengthen through the fingertips, draw the heels together, point the toes, become as long or as tall as possible. Then walk your heels over towards the right corner of your mat and cross the left foot on top of the right. Reach your hands towards the top right corner of your mat, creating a banana shape or a crescent shape, feeling that stretch down the left side of the body. Keep the muscles in your face relaxed. Good, let's release, come back through center. Walk your heels over towards the left, cross the right ankle on top, and then slide your hands over towards the left corner of your room. And let's come back through center. Bring the right foot back down to the mat, legs in line with your hips. And let's bend the elbows, bring the elbows down so they're in line with your shoulders. So our upper body is relaxed. We're relaxing the tops of the hands down towards the floor. And we'll move with the breath. Slide the fingertips towards each other overhead. And then exhale, draw the elbows in towards the waistline. So move slowly, matching your movement to your breath. Noticing if your elbow or your hand pop up off of the floor. Take a breath, focusing on that motion, and see if you can get that part of the body to relax. You want to create some space between the shoulder blades by doing this. Wake up those muscles and help keep our body nice and tall. Let's do one more. And then roll onto your right side. Take a couple nice deep breaths and push up to a seated position. Come into whatever seated position you prefer, legs crossed or extended, maybe even in hero pose, and do a couple shoulder circles and the opposite direction. Good. Let's inhale both arms up. 
And as we exhale, rotate to the right, drop your left hand to your lap, your right hand behind you, open the chest to the right and look over the right shoulder. Keeping in mind, this is just our warm up, so move gently. On your next breath, inhale, arms back up. And exhale, opposite side, right hand to the lap, left hand behind you, sitting tall and breathing. Good, let's inhale both arms back up, chest forward, interlace the fingers, flip the palms up towards the sky, continue breathing, tilting the chin up and looking upwards. Think about creating a long line from your hands all the way down your arms to the base of your spine. And let's release the hands, bring them behind the back, interlace the fingers, roll the shoulders back and together, reach the thumbs away from your tailbone, lift up through the chest as you look upwards. So just because we're lifting up the chest and looking up doesn't mean we're necessarily leaning forward. Try and keep your shoulders back, stack them over the hips as you breathe. Good, let's release to a couple more shoulder circles, both directions. Excellent. Let's swing our legs around if they're not already underneath the hips and sit on our heels. So we're gonna continue stretching out the forearms. So a couple circles of the wrists, both directions. And just like any other pose, we don't wanna to push too hard. We don't wanna go into a place where this feels painful. We want our wrist stretches to feel like a stretch, okay? So don't push past uh, your body's limit tonight. So let's lean forward, bringing our hands down to the mat under our shoulders. Rotate the fingertips back towards the back corners of the mat. So if we were staring down at the face of the clock, our fingers would be pointing towards eight and four, more or less. Spread the fingers wide, keep all edges of the hand on the mat and begin to shift your hips back. Don't let the thumbs or the edges of the palm peel off the mat. We want to keep them grounded. Feeling that stretch through the underside of the forearm. Good, let's release, bring the hips back up. You may want to lift your hands off the floor, do a couple more circles, both directions. And we're gonna do that one more time. So you're welcome to keep the hands just where they were, or to intensify this, you can continue to rotate the fingertips back facing your knees. So just like we did in the previous version, we're keeping the hands glued to the mat. Shift the hips back slightly. They'll go back a little bit less far if you've rotated the hands further. And feel that stretch. Breathe into it. Notice if you're holding tension in any other areas of the body, let it relax. Good, now we're gonna sink our hips back a little bit further, this time peeling the palms off the mat, stretching the fingers, feeling that stretch shift and intensify. If it's too much, lift the hips back up. And let's release, hips up, release the hands from the mat. Circle them around, both directions. And then a little counter stretch. So reach the right arm out at shoulder height, reach the fingertips down towards the floor, use the left hand to just gently press the back of the hand in towards the chest. And let's switch sides, left hand, point the fingers down. Excellent, let's release. Hands down to the mat, walk the hands forward. Lower your chest towards your thighs. Take a couple nice deep breaths here in child's pose. Continue to inch the fingertips forward as you feel the body relax. Find a little bit more space through the upper back and a space under the arms. Let's lift the hips up, bring them over your knees. Walk the hands forward again. So keep your hips over your knees, but our arms should be stretched out in front of us for puppy pose. 
Gently lower the forehead and the top of the chest down towards the mat. Feel that stretch under the arms, through the sides of the rib cage, through the upper back. Good, let's release, walk our hands back in. Bring the left hand down to the mat under the left shoulder and we'll thread the needle. So the back of the right hand comes to the mat under the chest. Slide that right arm through, lowering the right shoulder and the right temple down to the floor. And now let's switch sides. So press into the left hand, slide the right hand out. Plant it on the mat under the right shoulder. Left hand comes to the floor and reach over to the right. Good, and release. Excellent. Plant the palms, curl the toes, lift the hips up. Reach down through the heels and breathe. Now let's walk our toes forward on the mat. Come into forward fold. Tuck the chin towards the chest. Let the upper body hang. Let the head and neck relax. Look side to side, up and down. And now let's round up, stacking the back all the way up. Good. Step forward on the mat if you're not already there. Moving into sun salutations, let's inhale. Exhale, palms together. Inhale, lift the arms up, gently arch back. Exhale, forward fold, fingertips down to the mat. Inhale, right leg back, knee down, foot flat, look up. Curl the toes, exhale, left leg back to plank. Inhale, exhale, lower, knees, chest and forehead, or chaturanga. Inhale, slide forward, lift the chest, look up. Exhale, curl the toes, hips up, downward dog. Inhale, right leg forward, left knee down, foot flat. And exhale, left leg forward, feet together, look at your knees. Inhale, arms up, gently arch back. Exhale, release, arms by the sides. Inhale, exhale, palms. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left leg back, knee down, foot flat, look up. Curl the toes, exhaling, right leg back to plank. Inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, slide forward, lift the chest. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left foot forward, right knee down, foot flat. And exhale, right leg forward, feet together, look at your knees. Inhale, arms up, gently arch back. Exhale, release. Inhale, exhale, palms together. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right leg back, knee down, foot flat, look up. Curl the toes, exhaling, left leg back to plank. Inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, slide forward, lift the chest. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right leg forward, left knee down, foot flat. Exhale, left leg forward, feet together, look at your knees. Inhale, arms up, gently arch back. Exhale, release. Inhale, exhale, palms. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left leg back, knee down, foot flat, look up. Curl the toes, exhaling, right leg back to plank. Inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, slide forward, lift the chest. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left leg forward, right knee down, foot flat. And exhale, right leg forward, feet together, look at your knees. Inhale, arms up, gently arch back. 
Exhale, release. Arms by the side, shoulders back and away from the ears. Take a nice deep breath. Whew, shake out the arms and legs if you need to. We're going to work on eagle pose tonight so we can really get a little bit more open through the upper back and shoulders. So to warm up as if we need it, we're going to just do one chair pose together to really turn on the quads, glutes and hamstrings. So let's bring the hands to the heart, feet are under the hips, toes pointing forward. Let's inhale and as we exhale, bend the knees, reach back through the tailbone, sink down into your chair or narrow leg squat. When you're as low as you can go in that chair, tuck the tailbone, flatten out the lower back. The weight should be evenly distributed through the feet. We're focusing on a point that's not moving. Something at eye level. And breathe. Take one more breath, and then as we exhale, press through the soles of the feet, let's come on up, shake out the legs, and we're going to move into eagle. So starting with the legs, we're going to start with the left leg grounded. You can sink back down into your chair, then shift the weight into the left foot and cross the right over left, or you can start while standing, crossing the right leg over and then sink down. So. Try what works best for you. If you know already, or if not, just give both a try. One might feel more comfortable. The lower we sink down, the more tightly we can twist the right leg around the left, but the more challenging this is for our center of gravity. So once we have the legs in position, we're going to lift the right arm up, left arm underneath, in towards the face, left palm along, or left fingers along the right palm, lift the elbows up so they're in line with your shoulders and reach away slightly through the forearms, creating that space through the upper back. Good, let's release the arms, the shoulders, the legs, come all the way up to mountain pose. Breathe deeply. Excellent job. We'll do the same thing now with the right foot grounded on the mat. So you can try a different approach into the posture or stick with what works for you. Once you have your legs squared away, we're going to lift up the left arm, bring the right arm underneath, in towards the face, reach the right fingers for the left palm, lift up those elbows, they have a tendency to sink in towards the chest. Breathe deeply, finding a point to focus on. Good, let's release and come back to mountain. Excellent, shake it out. And now let's walk our feet wide. So bring the feet nice and wide, parallel to one another. Shoulders are back, hands on the hips, inhale. Exhale, hinging forward. Dropping your hands down towards the floor, drawing your chin towards your chest. Letting gravity gently pull your upper body down towards the mat. So depending on your, how you're feeling tonight, maybe you want to walk your feet a little bit wider apart if you want to intensify this stretch. If your body's feeling tight or sore, maybe bring the feet a little bit closer together. This is your practice. Do what feels best. Continue to lengthen through the crown of the head for reaching it down towards the mat. Maybe walking your hands back into that space between the feet. And 
and then lift the head, neck, and chest up, looking straight down at the floor. Plant the left hand under the chest. We're going to rotate to the right. So let's take a deep inhale. As we exhale, open the chest towards the right side of your room, reach the right arm up towards the sky, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Good, let's release. Right hand comes back down, replaces the left. Deep breath in, full breath out, rotate to the left, reach the left arm up, stack it over the right, squeeze the shoulder blades. This can challenge our balance as well, so find a point to focus on. Good, let's lower the left hand down. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, hinge forward again. Find that length down the spine. Good, let's release, lift the chest up. Begin to walk the feet together until they're back under the hips. And then round up. Stacking the back all the way. Good. Shoulders back. Shake out the legs. Shake out the arms and shoulders. Maybe a little twist. Excellent. All right. So let's take our weight down to the mat. Let's come right on into uh, child's pose. So let your body relax forward over the thighs. Walk your arms out. Bring the forehead down to the mat. Good. And now just round up. Bring the shoulders back over the hips. Lift the chin off the chest as we continue to breathe deeply. Let's begin by crossing our right arm, keeping the elbow straight and crossing it directly in front of the chest. Use the left hand to just pull the right arm in a little bit closer. Feel that stretch through the back of the shoulder. Good, let's release and switch arms. Left arm up, draw it across. And release, right arm up, bend the elbow, use the left hand to draw the right elbow in towards the center of the body. Let the fingertips just relax between your shoulder blades. And we'll switch sides, left arm up, bending the elbow, Right hand draws it in. And release. Good. So you can do that one more time or move in to the full expression where we grab a hold of the hand or reach for it at least. So let's bring the right arm up, bend the elbow. Left hand is going to come to the lower back. Slide it up the spine, reaching the left fingers for the right. And if our hands don't touch, you can grab a hold of the shirt, or you can always come back to the left hand holding the right elbow. If you've got your fingertips touching, try and continue to walk the fingertips towards one another, maybe reaching for the palm. Once you have the palm, we want to keep reaching for the wrist. And let's gently release, lower the arms, roll the shoulders out, and we'll switch sides, left arm up, bend the elbow, right hand to the lower back, slide it up the spine. One side is always a little bit more flexible than the other, so just approach this with an open mind, breathe deeply.
Good. Let's release and roll it out. All right. Good. So from here, we're going to walk our hands forward and we're going to come into plank. So let's place the hands under the shoulders. When you straighten out the legs, if you're straightening out the legs, walk the feet at least your own foot length apart. You can do plank from the knees as well, but with either variation, we want to make sure we have a straight line from our shoulders to knees or shoulders to heels. So draw the abs in towards the spine, looking downwards slightly ahead of our fingertips. Press through the hands, press back through the heels, and breathe. Let's transition onto our, our heels, our left, I should say, our heels to the left. So into the left hand, we press, we lift the right arm up. If you want, you can always lower the left knee for a little bit less intensity. If this is too much on the wrist or on the back, Breathe deeply. Good, let's come back down to our plank. Right hand to the mat, roll onto the balls of the feet. Might need to reposition a little bit. Don't let the hips creep up. We want that nice line down the length. And now we'll switch to the right side. Heels to the right, press into the right hand, lift the left arm up, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Excellent, let's come back to plank. Good, lower the knees down to the mat. Let's sit back for child's pose. Stretch out the upper back by keeping the arms extended. Breathe deeply. Let's lift the head up, look to the space just ahead of the fingers, and come into Chaturanga. So first we start in our plank, and as you exhale, bend the elbows 90 degrees. You can keep the upper arms tucked in next to your rib cage, but press deeply through the palms, reach away through the heels, draw the abs in deeply. Let's take one more breath, and then come all the way down. So lay your body flat on the mat, Stack one hand on top of the other, make a little pillow, rest your cheek on top. Think about resting the shoulders down towards the floor, letting the heels roll away from one another. The legs should be relaxed. Notice your breath. I mean, that's mine. <laughs> I need to even it out. Good, let's bring the toes and heels together. Keep the tops of your feet glued to the mat. Slide your hands down the sides of your body and interlace them behind the back. So bring the weight of the head either to your chin or your forehead, whatever feels more, most comfortable for you at the moment. And we're gonna warm up the muscles of the lower back. So we're gonna do a cobra, but without the use of our hands. So on our next inhale, let's lift the face, neck, and chest upwards, elongating the spine, reaching the crown of the head up, up, up. And as we do so, slide your hands down the back of your body. Reach your knuckles for your heels. So squeeze the shoulder blades together. Help them, use them to help lift you up. Take another breath and release, roll the chest down towards the mat, release the hands, stack them, press the opposite cheek on top. Bring the toes and heels together again, slide the hands under the shoulders, spread the fingers wide, elbows are bent, tucked in next to the rib cage. 
Moving into Cobra, again, inhale, lift the crown of the head up, lifting the face, neck, and chest off of the mat, using the muscles of the lower back. When you can't lift any higher, press through the center of the palms, come up using the triceps. Keep the triceps engaged. So we don't want to fall forward and use our shoulders to keep our head up, but we're keeping our shoulders back and away, elbows tucked in next to the rib cage. tilt the chin upwards. That nice long line down the back of the body. And let's gently lower all the way. Stack your hands, let your head relax, roll your heels away from one another. And now reach your left arm straight out in front of the left shoulder for bow pose. We're going to reach the right hand back, bending the right leg, grabbing a hold of the foot, pull the heel towards the glute. Find that length through the right quad by reaching the kneecap down towards the bottom of your mat. You may have kind of walked your right knee out to grab a hold of the foot, so be sure to pull it in. The knee should be in line with the hip. Turn on the right glute and hamstring. Create some space between your quad and the mat, lifting the foot up towards the sky. And gently release, lowering the thigh, releasing the foot, bringing the right hand forward in front of the shoulder. We'll switch sides, left arm back, bend the leg, grab a hold of the foot, pull the heel towards the glute. Lengthen the quad. Turn on the glute and hamstring, lifting the left foot upwards. And you can lift and hold, or you can um, just do several lifts. Now continue holding the left foot, let's reach back with the right hand, bending the right knee one more time, pull both heels in towards the glutes. Again, make sure the thighs are parallel to one another. Find length through the front muscles of the legs. Reach the hips down towards the floor a little bit deeper. And on your next inhale, lift the crown of the head, the face, neck, and chest upwards. Roll the shoulders back and together. Press the feet into the hands, turning on the glutes and hamstrings. Lift the feet off of the floor, coming into bow pose. Good. Let's release. Place the hands on the mat under the shoulders. Lift the hips up. Walk the knees nice and wide. Bring the big toes together and sit back on your heels for a modified child's pose. Letting the torso sink down between the thighs. Walk the hands towards the right corner of the room. Shift your weight back into the left hip. Feeling that stretch down the left side of the torso. Come back through center and over towards the left corner of the room. Sit back into the right hip. So it's just a shift of the weight, just a little bit to get that stretch. Good, let's come back through center. Lift the hips up, bring the forearms down, cup the hands around the elbows for some dolphins. So. By cupping the hands around the elbows, we ensure that they're under the shoulders. We want to start with them there and end with them there. So sometimes we start to roll outwards, but try and keep them uh, under the shoulders themselves. Interlace the fingers, pinky side down to the mat, curl the toes, lift the knees up, and we're going to move with our breath. So everyone at their own pace. Inhale, lowering our hips down into a forearm plank. Exhale, pressing through the forearms, the pinkies, the elbows, lifting the tailbone upwards. So move at your own breath. Inhale down. 
Exhale, lift. Keep the abs drawn in. Press through the forearms. If you'd like more of a challenge, walk the feet towards your elbows. And if you'd like to take it a little bit easier, walk the feet away. Good, let's do one more. And then come into child's pose one more time. Flatten the palms to the mat, keep your arms outstretched, and breathe. Good, let's come into downward facing dog. On your next inhale, let's take a big step forward with the right foot. Come into our low lunge. Drop the hips down and forward. Reach back through the left heel. And from here, we'll lift into our high lunge so you can adjust the back knee or heel to the mat if you'd like a little bit more support. Press deeply into the right foot as you roll the shoulders back. Stack them over your hips. Your hands can come to prayer position or out, extended out at shoulder height. Whatever feels best for you today. Excellent. Let's fold forward, hands back down to the mat. Gently lower the left knee, flatten the top of the foot. Before we move into our hamstring stretch, let's walk the right foot a couple inches to the right, bring the right hand between the right foot and the left hand, and now bend the elbows, lower the, fore the forehead, the chest, down towards the mat. Maybe we can bring the forearms down as well. Let's get deep into the inner thigh, the hip, the left hip flexors. Good. Let's straighten out the arms, lift the chest up, walk the right foot back in a couple inches so it's in line with your hip, and bring the right hand around to the outside. Press the hips back, straightening out the right leg, lifting the toes, keeping the upper body nice and long, and lowering the chest down towards the right thigh. Good. Let's release. Walk the right foot forward, lowering the hands to the mat. Let's switch sides, stepping the right leg back. And now our left foot, inhale as we step it forward between the hands, settling into our low lunge, noticing how the body feels on this side. lift into our high lunge now. Inhale, exhale all the way up, shoulders back, adjusting the right leg if you'd like. Continue pressing through the left foot. Excellent. Fold forward, hands to the mat, lower the right knee. Walk the left foot over to the left side, just a couple inches, and bring the left hand between the left foot and the right hand. Bend the elbows in towards the torso as you fold forward, maybe bringing your forearms down, chin towards the chest. Good. Let's
let's release, straighten out the arms, walk the left foot back in in line with the hip. And as you exhale, sink your hips back, straightening out the left leg, lifting the toes, lowering the chest towards the left thigh. Good, walk the hands forward, come back to downward dog. And now we'll move into dolphin. So let's inhale the right leg up, bend the knee, pull the bent knee in towards the chest, lower it between your hands, pointing the right foot over to the left side of the mat. Relax the left leg back, inhale, lift our chests, exhale, hinge forward, relax over that leg and breathe. And let's gently release, walking our hands back, lifting the chest, bring the shoulders back over the hips. Let's take a couple deep breaths here. If you'd like to work on the quad stretch, you can bend the left leg, reach back with the left hand, or you can just hold it. Excellent, let's release gently and come back to downward facing dog. Left leg up, bend the knee, pull it in towards the chest and lower it down between the hands. Relax the right leg, inhale, lift, exhale, fold. Good, let's release, lift the head, gently walk the hands back in. Holding it here, breathing deeply, or bending the right leg, reaching back with the right hand. Draw the foot towards the back of the body. Good, let's release and sink down into your left hip. Swing the right leg around. Place both soles of the feet on the mat. And we're gonna walk our hands back just behind the hips, fingertips pointing down towards the toes. We're going to inhale. As we exhale, press through the hands and feet. Let's lift our hips up into a tabletop. We're going to do five dips to work on building strength through the triceps. So we'll move with the breath, inhale, bend the elbows, exhale, press through the palms, straighten out the arms. Four to go. Our elbows should be bending straight back behind us. 
We're going to try and keep our hips lifted. So naturally, they're going to sink down as we bend the elbows. But try not to lower them to the mat. One more. Excellent job. All right, so hips down. Our triceps get so neglected, so it's important to focus on them too. Let's roll the chest and shoulders all the way back. Let the whole body sink down deeply into the mat. Hug the right knee towards your chest. Relax the left leg down. And let's switch sides. And then if your upper shoulder stand, let's lift up into that now. If you'd prefer to do legs up the wall, you can slide your mat or just your body over to your closest wall. Or you can just take a couple breaths here and meet up with us momentarily. So shoulder stand, draw the abs in, bring the knees towards the chest, press through the palms, and then bring the hands to the lower back, walking them up the spine as you stack the hips over the shoulders. Straightening out the knees, lifting the toes upwards. Flex the feet, let the legs and ankles relax. Bring one leg in towards the face, reaching away through the opposite leg. And then slowly switch directions. Lower the toes down to the mat overhead, coming into plow pose. You can continue to support the back. However, if your toes have touched the mat, you can release the hands, bring them down to the mat, or interlace the fingers and lower the pinkies down. Let's release, bend the knees in towards the face, slide them down the front of the body. Gradually lowering the back and the tailbone and then the soles of the feet to the mat. Interlace your hands, flip the palms and reach through the palms as you lengthen the arms overhead. And then release the hands, bring them back down to your sides. Let's hug both knees in towards our chest. Rock side to side, massaging the back, kidneys. And then draw the knees away from one another, reach the arms through, bring the tops of the hands, or should this say the hands to the tops of the feet. The fingers are wrapped around the outside edges. Open the feet away from one another, bending the knees, drawing them downwards towards the mat. And then bring the heels back towards the glutes, thighs together. Lower your legs all the way down. Walk your heels about mat width apart. And relax your arms halfway between your hips and your shoulders, palms side up. Tuck the shoulder blades back and under the body, creating space in the chest and collarbone. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. 
Let the body completely relax. Let go of any thoughts, plans, or ideas. And instead, bring your awareness to your breath. With the sensations of the body. Bring your awareness all the way down your body to your feet. My toes, feet, and heels are releasing and relaxing. My toes, feet, and heels are released and relaxed. My ankles, calves, and knees are releasing and relaxing. My ankles, calves, and knees are released and relaxed. thighs, hips, and buttocks are releasing and relaxing. My thighs, hips, and buttocks are released and relaxed. My abdomen and lower back are releasing and relaxing. My abdomen and lower back are released and relaxed. Fingers, hands, and wrists are releasing and relaxing. My fingers, hands, and wrists are released and relaxed. My forearms, elbows, and upper arms are releasing and relaxing. My forearms, elbows, and upper arms are released and relaxed. My chest, back, and shoulders are releasing and relaxing. My chest, back, and shoulders are released and relaxed. My neck, head, and face are releasing and relaxing. My neck, head, and face are released and relaxed. My mind is calm, my breathing is even, and I am completely relaxed. back to your body and begin to move your fingers and toes. Gently stretch your arms overhead, lengthening the body, 
awakening it. Reach your arms to the right side and the left side. Take a nice deep breath and roll onto the right side of your body. Place your left hand in front of your chest and press back up to a seated position. Om Shanti 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 Om Peace 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 Namaste. Great job, everybody. I hope you're feeling good and had an enjoyable practice. Have a wonderful evening, a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. We don't have any Monday class, um, so those of you that are just on Wednesday, well, I'll see you next week as scheduled. <laughs> so stay well, everybody. Have a good one.